Okay, children, gather around. It's story time. Ronnie, put the chemistry set down and come sit up front with Mary Jo. Billy, let me hold on to that paper airplane. You can have it back after the story. Joey and Jill, please stop talking. I'm going to have to separate the two of you. Okay, are we all set? This is a very special story about a very special boy. A long, long time ago, in a mysterious land far, far away, Norman Randall Thomas was born. From the window in his bedroom, he would gaze across the land and see a beautiful castle. Very close to this castle was his school and his grandfather's dental practice. From a very early age, everyone could tell Norman was different. He was curious about everything and smarter than all the other boys and girls. As Norman grew up, he loved learning, rugby, and acting. Soon Norman became a dental technician in the Royal Dental Corps. He looked very handsome in his beret. But Norman knew he was on to bigger and better things. He began studying at the University of Bristol and received many prestigious awards and honors. He even earned a gold medal. Norman became a dentist, but he wouldn't stop there. You see, he was so very intelligent, he wanted to learn more and more. So Norman became a specialist in oral pathology and even got his doctorate in oral medicine. I hope all of you children study hard like Norman did. Soon Norman meets and falls in love with the Princess of Wales. Her name is Jean. They get married and move to the enchanted land of Bristol. Together they have five wonderful children. But Norman and Jean grew tired of the weather in Bristol. So they decided to pack up their bags and move to a warm, sunny, magical place called Edmonton, Canada. There Norman becomes a professor of physiology. One thing about Norman, he loved teaching, just as I love teaching all of you boys and girls. Two of Norman's children, Martin and Richard, followed in their father's footsteps and become dentists too. Norman even practiced with them. Norman had a very good sense of humor and he was very entertaining. He even had his own local TV show. Then Norman does something that no other person has ever done. He receives his diploma in pathology and medicine at the Medical College of Virginia. And he is now a pathologist in three countries, the UK, Canada, and the USA. Everyone celebrated. Soon after, Norman becomes a professor emeritus at the University of Alberta. Now children, Norman has so many degrees and honors. Do you know why this is so very important? Well, because there is no one else just like him. No one has all the credentials that he has. This makes Norman very special. He is able to come live in the greatest country in the world, the United States of America. Norman and Jean decide to move to the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada. What a fabulous place. There, Norman is appointed the professor of research at the most prestigious postgraduate dental institute in the world, named LVI. He works alongside a wonderful king named Bill, a beautiful queen named Heidi, and a valiant prince named Mark. Together, this royal court tirelessly spreads the word of neuromuscular dentistry throughout the land. At LVI, Norman has found his home and his passion in teaching thousands of dentists about neuromuscular dentistry. His enthusiasm and love of education is infectious. The knowledge Norman shares can never be replaced. So what happens to this amazing little boy who grows up to be the smartest dentist on earth? Well, in 2015, he receives a very rare honor at LVI, a Lifetime Achievement Award. And when he received this award, all the people shouted, Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray!